Yeah. So if you're using Mac OS and you use messages, which many of us do, which is great because, man, you can type out a long message fast in that, right? Right. But every now and then, there's there used to be a site. I think the site's still there and the app is gone. It's damn you autocorrect. But because uh, there are some funny things there that happen in autocorrect. But if you notice you've typed a message and you want to edit it in Mac OS, sometimes you just tap on that last message with two fingers on your trackpad or right click on your mouse and you get a little menu that comes up that says reply or edit or undo or undo send or something like that. Sure. But you know what? For me, that works about 30% of the time. 70% of the time, I am in a total frustration. I, I just want to edit that word before, before it's seen. And I, the other day, I could not get it to edit. I'm like, all right, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to take the mouse. I'm going to go up to the edit menu in messages and see. And lo and behold, there is the ability to click on edit last message. Or you could go command E and it will automatically take you to edit last message. Now that does time out after, you, after you've sent the message, I think more than 10 minutes ago. As I'm looking in that menu though, there I see that, yeah, we have command R to reply. reply. Yeah, That's the fastest reply. If you're on the keyboard already, just command R and boom, and it'll reply. It'll start a reply thread to the last message. And then command T to invoke the little tap back thing right. for the last message. Right. And here's the cool oh. thing. Say you want to reply to two or three messages ago, just go up and select that and then hit command R and it will reply oh. to two or three messages, not just the last message. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 